happy switch of Saturday. How is everyone doing? I hope well. I hope everyone is safe. Um, I won't dwell too much on um, the tragedies and aftermath of the uh, hurricane, um, but it definitely is just really devastating. So uh, really quick, I'll just say if you have the means and the ability to reach out, donate all the things, please do so. I've done a little bit myself, you know, we're most of us who have the ability to splurge on handbags and all the things that we talk about on these kinds of channels. Um, you know, we have a little bit of extra usually. So, you know, I don't know, me personally, I like to, um, donate when I can. So if you have that ability, consider doing so. And I'll put some links down below, but, um, you know, prayers and all the, all the good vibes that need to go out and hopefully things will get better soon for, for everyone involved, but it's a long, a long road ahead. So definitely, definitely a lot to come back from. So Thankfully, it's not anywhere near as bad up here in Oregon. And I know I had, you know, my <laughs> first world problem traumatizing last week um, out of internet for several days. It ended up being um, the electrical fried the modem. Modem? Router. Router. That's the thing. Router. And had to get a new one, but it ended up where it actually truly was the um, cable underground going out um to the street somehow got fried and they figured that out i think it was sometime on monday where we finally got was it monday or sunday days are fly flying together at this point we finally got internet um and it must have been sometime on monday because i had to go into the office on monday and work from the office because I didn't have Wi-Fi at home. Yeah, it had to be on Monday. Anywho, um, so yeah, it was definitely an ordeal, fun times. But, you know, we just move on. The worst part of the <laughs> fiasco was getting the new router. I had to, like, redo my Wi-Fi um, network at home, which meant having to reprogram everything and I'm talking what the I have a smart house so I have like the wi-fi outlets the um the light the lights in every room have the um have them uh, attached to the wi-fi the garage door openers every everything and a couple of them I was not able to get so the garage door openers I can't get back on network so we're having to just utilize you know the clickers obviously which is you know not a big deal they're in the car but um Stefan sometimes you know he'll like just go out for a walk and use the phone to open the he can't do that anymore <laughs> to come in the house <laughs> so it's really stupid we don't have the pad on the outside of the of the garage or you know how back in the day you used to have like a, a keypad on the outside that you could push the button we decided not to do that because we had wi-fi enabled um openers so that no not anymore um so that still isn't done one of the um light fixtures won't turn on and connect um and there's one other thing that i can't get onto the network so it's just like i i was amazed on how much time it took to bring everything back online which is like you don't think about that when you're putting these things together but anyhow real stupid but that's where we are so <sighs> we live and we learn we move on so um this is what we wore for the week it was very um fall like here's the wear and tear obviously not very classy not very demure not very mindful broke the snail really low so that was unpleasant um but other than that it's pretty pretty decent so i spent the week um got my covid shot booster got my flu shot booster 
um, got my updated prescription from my contacts. They, I have changed my prescription apparently. One eye is now better than the other. So um, that has thrown me a little bit wonky. So I've had a couple of headaches this week, which has not been fun, but you know, it's just kind of is what it is. But what I did do was I went down and I wrote down every bag that I used during these switch out Saturdays so I could see where I was because I thought I'm getting to the point where I think I've almost used every bag that I have, but not quite. I still have probably half a dozen to a dozen bags that I have not used yet. Some of them I can't use because of now that we're in the season where it's going to rain, the machete would not do well. Some of them are bags that are just so out of style that I I just don't wouldn't, wouldn't carry them or they're not of a design that fits my current um, lifestyle or just what I would currently use. A, a couple coach bags that just aren't something I would I would carry right now so I can't see myself um swatching into swatching into them <laughs> switching into them anytime soon so there's a few that probably won't be um part of this foray into um swapping out but there's still a few so I'm going to find the one for this week I have planned let's see so this is the fifth I have a bag plan for in two weeks because that's when I'll be on a plane. <laughs> I'll be pre-filming that switch out Saturday because I'll be on a plane um, on the Friday. Um, but yeah, the next two weeks, basically, I have to figure out which bags will make sense to utilize and then um, go from there. So we'll go over and talk about the fragrances, the usual stuff. We'll swap out of the current bag of the week and we'll come back and end this this week. So I will talk to you in a few. Okay, so this is my messy tray of the week. <laughs> I didn't even put the pin back in Montal. I've got Libra thrown over here. Um, trap revs is out it's just kind of like i just had a chaotic week so everything's just getting thrown however it was the sun keeps coming in and out of this window it was successful because i used everything which is great this one was really great when it rained on friday i wore this did i wear this another day or did just on friday i think i only wore this one on friday but i love this scent and it will come out more often as we get colder, it's just a really lovely Coca-Cola, um, fruity, but spicy type of scent. So really enjoy that. Um, this one is just uh, chocolate heaven, chocolate greedy. It's so delicious. I just love it. Um, of course, you know how much I love Skylar, so I won't go on. So let's talk about the samples. Um, I... I think I've convinced myself that a Trap Revs is going to be the next one I pick up. I'm really um, a, fa a fan of this of this scent. It's got some complexity there that I just I can't put my finger on. I think it's the cocoa note, and maybe it's because I wore this one this week, and that's why I'm smelling it so prominently. But it's just a really lovely all around scent. Um, just, yeah, I'm, I'm really surprised how much I like it. And I had to laugh because there was this time when I was ordering a couple things last year from Louis Vuitton and it seemed like everything I ordered came with a sample of a trap ref. So I've got like five, uh, vials of it and I, I can see why they're, they're trying to, you know, pawn it off on you, so to speak. It's actually quite nice. So I'm um, going to pick that one up. I just have to decide if I'm going to get an actual bottle or if I'm going to do um, the travel spray refills. Now with Libra, um, I can't, I can't keep saying it. Is it Libra or Libre? I can't. Anyway, I, I don't mind this. It's just, I'm not sure I would want to really buy a full bottle. So 
I think I'm going to look for like a small gift set or maybe, um, I'm not going to do the advent calendar after all. I just, it was, it's $380 and mostly lipsticks and the perfumes in it are like seven mil, 10 mil there. It's, it's not worth $380. I'm sorry. It's just not. So it's like a Dior. It's crazy how they're charging for it, but a gift set at the holiday, I know they've had several where they come with mini bottles of like Mon Paris, um, the Libra, and there's another one. And I'm blanking on the other, um, Black Orchid? I think it's Black Orchid. So I'm thinking I want to find one of those and pick it up that way. So I, I don't see myself buying a full size bottle, but I definitely want more than just a, a sample vial to have around. So that was the tray of the week so we are going to find the new scents okay so this is going to be the tray of the week we have got um tobacco vanille from tom ford um I have this in the atomizer never did splurge on the full-size bottle but i think that's a really good scent uh, and it is time. It is time for pumpkin spice latte to come out. Um, I call that lovingly. Emerald Rain is a very, very spice heavy, um, very rich fragrance. And it only comes out really October on. I, I will put it away pretty much after the holidays. But um, I really enjoy wearing it. It's got so much prominent spice. Um, it, it really is for this time of year. So lovely, rich scent for this time of year. And then rich, I call this my, she's rich, darling, fragrance. Mifu, um, it's a leather scent um, as its base. Really beautiful. There's the lighting going again. Uh, just a, a really lovely scent from Louis Vuitton. And then this one I wanted to try out because, um, like I said, I'm going to Chicago here shortly. So, um, the lovely Camo Chica sent this to me as a gift. She's awesome. Um, and this is called Amber... Oh my God, I'm blind. Amber Nargil. I'll put it on the screen. Um, and that is a, a very decent size sample. And I just want to give it a good try out to see if I might splurge on a full size bottle. I want to try out several of the scents when I'm there. And then um, this is Dulce by Rosie Jane. And this is a roller ball, which I don't necessarily care for, but um, this one applies really, really lovely and um, quite, I guess, I shouldn't say excessive, but it's ample. It applies amply. So I, I don't mind this one because I can kind of spread it all over and, and really get a good um, amount of vanilla um, sillage off of it. So I really do enjoy um, wearing that one. So that is the tour of the week. Pretty much spice oriental type of rain, vanilla. But yeah, spice spice centric, I think, is where, where we're at with the, the theme for this week. Do we have all the good sniffs, ladies? It is like wind central out here. This tree has dropped a ton of needles. So they're just fascinated by all of this. So... Uh-oh, they're circling. What do you see there, Dolly? Mm -hmm. You don't know? She's done with me. It's everywhere. Okay, we're putting back fall. We're putting back everything taco we are going in to the lovely deep fall weather and what do we want to wear for the lovely fall weather i kind of want to do something unusual i think 
think I'm going to wear black. One coat black. I may or may not put a topper on it. I think I just want to have black nails. Black like my soul. Okay, so Tabby. Tabby was fun. She definitely is a walk, so you can't carry too much in there. So it was a little bit, you know, cumbersome for the average time, but I pretty much just had to run to you know, get my shots, get, you know, doctor's appointments, all that kind of thing. So nothing too dramatic. So, and shopping Trader Joe's, you know, all the, all the things. So nothing that really warranted having the need for a massive bag. So it was fine. My biggest gripe with it was I already had it at almost maximum. Oh, well, not maximum. I think it was halfway down there. And I didn't want to have it on the last hole. So I went ahead and got these chain extenders from Amazon, like 10 bucks. And that, that did the trick. But I just didn't, I don't know, I was just kind of frustrated with how short that chain was so i mean they're fine it's fine to have you know i got a pack it was a pack of two for for 10 bucks so it just kind of annoys me to have to make that kind of adjustment on something most wallet on chains seem to have a substantial strap so this was kind of odd but other than that she was fine so I'm going to find another bag to put everything into and come right back. My friends, guess what time it is. It, <laughs> Dolly snoring. It is time to carry another bag that I've never carried, <laughs> that I bought months ago. I think it was the first bag I bought this year and it has never been worn because I bought it and it was out of season, quote unquote, because I, I am one of those crazy people that has seasonal bags, in my opinion. Thanks to Mr. Caleb, I purchased this Muse 2 and it's a tiny little Muse 2, a little tiny thing, but it's a beautiful bag. And I think I stored it wrong because it's starting to bend. So it's that time. It's not going to be very rainy this week. So I think we'll, sh we'll she'll be fine. But it's still supposed to be relatively mild, chilly. It's, it's, it is fall, fall vibes bag time. So we are going to get into the Muse 2. I'm going to empty out all of the stuffing that I have in here and then load up the items and I will be right back. Okay, I'm on my phone so I can't put it in there, but I'll either put it back here in the back pocket or I will um, just slot it in one of the compartments. There's plenty of room in here. What I ended up doing was putting in my um, little coach version of the Elizabeth pouch, which has my pens and pencils at the bottom there. I put my sunglasses back in because I did need them this week. Have my card case here in this pocket. I have thrown all my cash in there, which is not wise, but that's just how I am. Coins, both sets of car keys are in here. Still plenty of room. I'm not going to bother with, um, tying these down. I'm just going to latch it as it is meant to be right now, but that might become fussy over time because it kind of lifts a little bit. So I might get busybody. And since I don't need to go into it that often, yeah. See, then you, um, if you didn't see the unboxing of it, there is a little bit of um, like one of the scales, I guess is what you call it, is a little bit damaged right there. Other than that, it's in really 
good shape. All the feet, um, the interior, look, it looked like it had never been carried. Like there's no staining on the inside at all. It just, you know, is an old bag. So an old bag, <laughs> like me, an old bag. So this is the Muse 2 in the small um, edition. And it's going on its maiden voyage this week. So wish me luck. I think it's kind of cute. Okay, so we're wrapping it up. Um, I lied. <laughs> I put the black on and I'm just like, that's just too goth. It's too much. It's like, that's, that's Halloween week, you know. I, so I went and I found this topper that I got last fall and I hadn't used. It's called Fallen Flake Taco. Yeah, Fallen Flake Taco. And it's just these beautiful, like, autumnal shades very very pretty on the black so I uh, it's a scattered like hollow on there so that made it a little less gothic and crazy <laughs> I mean there's nothing wrong with wearing black nail polish it just seemed like a little much for for the week so while it like there looks totally black in the sun it's just the be most beautiful um shades and colors that come out so really um excited about that so i hope you have a great week ahead um next like this week is supposed to be relatively just calm and not a whole lot happening i had to go get another pumpkin that's my my one thing that i really have on um like the radar like one last thing to get um other than that it's just like going through doing some cleaning making sure everything's on track for um the next couple of weeks and yeah just kind of you know doing doing the thing so i hope you all are doing well let me know what you're up to now that it's fall are you enjoying the season are you you know here's what i'm gonna say they asked at work for us to go ahead and put in our time off request for the rest of the year and i'm just like it's october <laughs> give, me, give me a minute but no i mean i'll blink and it's gonna be december 15th so i that that just kind of puts me puts it in perspective so are you already thinking about the holidays are you planning for time off do you have anything happening with your um next couple of months any travel plans anything any purchases you're looking into i'm thinking that next week i'm going to ask you all um for a few maybe put up some polls and see like what i need to focus on when i go on my trip because i definitely want to buy a bag i definitely want to buy um, some accessories. I'm thinking about upgrading my Apple Watch to their Hermes Apple Watch. And I think I need you all to talk me out of that because I think, I don't know if it's worth it. So that's, let's ponder that for next week. Okay. Take care. I love y'all. I'll see you next week. Bye. Mm -hmm.